elevating autism one lift at a time. That's the mission of one Roanoke man who has found a way to connect with thousands of people through his passion for elevators. Yeah, he too has autism and he was told that he'd never be a functioning adult. Well, today that couldn't be farther from the truth. And that man proves it to 10 News anchor Jaffney Gray that if he can make it in life with autism, others can do the same too in the Deep Blue Ridge. I'm an adult with autism and I love elevators. This is Andrew Reeves and he's not kidding about his love for elevators. You only get to live life one time. And why would I want to waste any of my time being miserable? Which is why he's always on cloud nine when he steps into his storage unit on 4th Street in Roanoke. From the old to the new, one floor to the next, he's been collecting elevator parts since the 90s. I'm like, wow, and then sometimes I'm like, I got too much stuff. He calls it his elevator museum. These are how the older elevators were controlled. And he shares it with both the community and over 100,000 subscribers on his YouTube channel called Elevate Tours. Usually I get a wow, and then they go crazy pushing all the buttons. They light up like in a real elevator. And get this, most of his audience are also people, especially children, with autism. My mission statement of my YouTube channel is elevating autism one lift at a time. A lot of people with autism, it's sensory based, like an elevator stimulates multi senses, touch, sight, sound, motion. Most people love the experience. See, it rings a real alarm. He's in heaven right now. But occasionally. They're like, that was boring. <laughs> There's a reason Andrew is so passionate about elevating the autistic community. Growing up with autism in the 80s was a challenge. In some ways it was a living hell, and in some ways it was cool. Not a lot was known about stuff like this. And I was diagnosed with ADHD, OCD, depression, anxiety, and they didn't know what was wrong with me. And I was what I would like to consider one of the Ritalin guinea pigs. I couldn't behave appropriately when I was younger. They just kept prescribing different medicines and I feel in some ways that made the situation worse. He says when he was 13, he couldn't function. I got thrown out of multiple schools in St. Louis for behavior disorders. And by the time I was 14 years old, I ended up in a um, psychiatric ward for children. Andrew says he was very closeted about his passion for elevators during that time of his life. I was told it was stupid and weird. I was always bullied for being different. Fortunately, in the 90s, Andrew says he was finally correctly diagnosed with autism, which took him off those several medications. It was a move that lifted his spirit and that opened the door for a very productive life. To someone whose parents were told that their kid would never be able to be independent, I think I'm doing pretty darn good. Similar to his love for elevators, Andrew is also fixated on trains, like Diesel Ducey here. Obviously my screen name everywhere, and it's named after a little toy train I've had since I was a kid. He's been working as a locomotive engineer for Norfolk Southern for over a decade. Andrew is not only a major advocate for people with autism, but a major fighter against bullying. The reason you're being bullied is because these people are insecure with themselves. So they have to go after someone they feel is weaker to make themselves feel big. In reality, you're the bigger man. Through his channel and his museum, he also educates parents on how to embrace their child's interests. A true inspiration that puts Andrew on a whole other level in life. I like to use the word unique instead of disability. Embrace who you are, love yourself, don't ever put yourself down, don't let anyone put you down because you are beautiful just the way you are. For the Deep Blue Ridge, I'm Jaffney Gray, 10 News, working for you.